All right, all right, live, all right, live. I believe we are. What is up, everyone? Happy Thursday evening. It's a late one, y'all. Your boy just got back from, uh, as you can see from the title, just got back from seeing a Marvel film, uh, which uh, was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. And I just want to hop on here for a little bit and just uh, give you guys my like a live out of theater reaction no spoilers this isn't a review this isn't a formal view whatsoever matter of fact let me just go ahead and make that clear right now let me put that put that little banner out there <laughs> no spoilers this is just again an out of theater reaction uh from seeing guardians of the galaxy volume three and we'll get into some uh we won't talk about the film like as far as plots no character moments stories cameos you know no spoilers whatsoever i uh, just want to try something out new uh and as well as respect the obligation i have as a critic to not give anything away because we are still under a review embargo. So again, I will put this out there to the ether to everyone that's joining me live. Which again, I don't expect too many people tuning in because it's such a, a late night and it was kind of a random uh, thing that I came up with at the last minute. So, but again, I want to respect those that haven't seen the film yet. So we won't be reviewing the, the movie. I'm just going to essentially um, expand upon my out of theater reaction that's on the channel right now. Uh, and keep it to just that. And then, uh, you know, just chat with you guys about Marvel briefly. Uh, again, we won't be here too late, but just kind of getting a, a, a pulse of where you guys are at with the the film the excitement level. If you're a Guardians fan, if you're a Marvel fan, if you're a Phase 5 fan thus far, or Phase 4, and just kind of see where this goes. But again, we won't be on too late. Uh, matter of fact, I set myself a timer because I'm preheating the oven. So once that timer goes off, we'll probably wrap it up. So about 10, 10 minutes or so. But again, just wanted to hop on here and say what's up to everyone and just uh get on here for a little bit um what's going on nobody damn let us know <laughs> what's up what's up zia what's going on what's going on uh so yeah guys like i said just uh briefly again as you can see from the banner i promise no spoilers as you can see under me no spoilers no spoilers no spoilers but just got back and going into this film again we'll just kind of set up the scenery here i'm a big fan of this franchise i got guardians volume one behind me here and then let me see there's part two <laughs> there uh love these characters weren't aware of these characters prior to 2014's guardians uh had briefly heard about the guardians but never was like super invested in them whatsoever so going into 2014 um wasn't overly excited for it. i'm not gonna lie and the marketing was okay during that time <laughs> didn't know much about James Gunn during the time when he was announced to direct this and write it. You know, the only thing I had heard about with James Gunn was just, you know, the the, the bare minimum. Uh, Slither was a film I had seen of his, and I think that was about it during that time. So I was like, ah, who's who? You know, James Gunn. I'm familiar with his work, but really, Marvel, big, big, uh, well, not big, but uh, you know, a new up and coming IP with these unknown characters, unknown director. What's going to happen? Is this going to be, you know, during that time we were in, what, phase two? And we had got Iron Man, Cap, Thor, the Avengers. Uh, we had got Iron Man 2. I think was Iron Man 3 out in phase two as well. I mean, we have gotten these established characters. Like, man, this is Marvel's really uh, swinging for the fences, you know, uh, when it comes to Guardians of the Galaxy. A talking raccoon in a tree that says three words. What, what are we doing, Marvel? But lo and behold, man. Um, Guardians 1 is top five for me, top five Marvel film for me personally. Um, love the story, love the characters, love the, I, I'm a sucker for kind of dysfunctional, kind of mis, uh, misunderstood and just a, a band of people that come together for the greater good. I'm a, I'm a sucker for those type of stories. So it hit those beats, funny as hell. I'm a sucker for a good soundtrack and the soundtrack on Guardians, as we all know, is fire. So Fell in love with that in 2014. 2017 comes around and we get Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And it's top 15. <laughs> I would say top 15 quality for me when it comes to Marvel films. Not my favorite uh, by any means, but I enjoy it more than, than most. At least people in my circle. I know some people aren't the biggest fans of Volume 2, but I enjoy it for what it was. Ego was a cool character. We expand on the, the group and their dynamics. And, and visually, I think it's one of the like best looking Marvel films. Like Honestly, it's a beautiful film to look at that James Gunn and his crew put together. Uh, but again, not nowhere close to the OG, but still enjoyed it. And then as, you know, as the years have went on, you know, 2017 was, was part two. We got them in the following year with 2018, the Infinity War, and I thought they were pretty good in that. Minus, you know, obviously Peter Quill's decision in that movie after learning about Gamora and everything with Thanos. And of course, we got them back in Endgame. But then after that, what was that, 2019? 
man, it was a minute before we saw the Guardians again. I think the next time we had seen the Guardians was 2022 with uh, Thor Love and Thunder, which I wasn't the biggest fan of number one of that film, but also wasn't the biggest fan of their inclusion in the movie because they didn't really have much to do. And I just felt like, ah, Taika, I don't want you touching the Guardians at all. Uh, but it didn't leave like a bad taste in my mouth. I just thought they didn't necessarily need to be in the movie. And then I have a review on my channel for the um, the holiday special, which I wasn't the biggest fan of that because I love the Guardians collectively speaking but when you venture off with some of the characters that i'm not the biggest fan of which is drax the destroyer and mantis and they were the you know the the leading stars of that special it just didn't really hit the marks for me but neither here nor there getting into this one man um and again no spoilers this isn't a review there's a review embargo that lifts tomorrow at 11 i want to say 11 a.m and i won't even have my my actual review out till probably <laughs> later in the day if i if, if i even put it out tomorrow it might be over the weekend but again i won't be reviewing the film tonight i won't be talking about plot i won't be talking about characters i won't be talking about cameos or any of that nature i'm just really giving you all just my reaction after seeing it about an hour ago uh and like i said in my out of theater reaction without getting into the details the 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 beginning of the movie to me, just didn't hit the way I was looking for it to hit without expanding upon that. There's just some elements in the in the first half that just wasn't vibing with me. It, again, it's been, what, five years, six years since we like actually been with the entire group besides them being separated. Um, so it was, it was getting me. So that was a factor. It was like, oh, I got to get used to being back with these characters that I love and, and catch up with them. And then there was also, again, without expanding, there were just some things that I wish were more prominent in the first half. Uh, and again, we'll expand on that on an actual review. But what I will say, without giving too much away, um, once people and the plots kind of come together, and I won't say when that is in the film, but once that happens, ah, man, it just reminded me of why I love these characters, why these characters are really special to me, in my opinion, what they stand for. And just, they were, you know, just clicking on all cylinders. And James Gunn, man, like, first and foremost, I talked about it up top, you know, with Guardians 1. I wasn't, besides Slither, I wasn't too familiar with his work besides that. And didn't really, you know, think he was after Slither. I'm like, I, I didn't expect this, this man to be, obviously, making these films and now being the head of DC. But, man, James just has a way to, to not only connect it with these characters, as my uh, preheating oven went off, so I guess I'm going to end this live now. But now I'm going to I'm going to be on for a couple more minutes before we wrap it up. But um, he has this this way with these characters. He understands these characters, and he tells is really great. And this isn't in particular to this story, but just in general with the Guardians, he's able to hit on emotional beats. And I, I don't think all the Marvel films are able to land on that emotional resonance that he has been able to capture, at least for me, with these characters. And it's it's a really good emotional journey that we're going with this film. And it once, like I said, it finds its footing, it finds its rhythm. It's a really, really emotional, fun, uh, funny, beautiful, gorgeous looking space adventure that we go on with our guardians that we have come to love. So I really do want to give props to James Gunn on you know, this being his farewell tour and his last time, obviously this isn't a spoiler by any means. A lot of us that are up to, up to snuff with all the stuff going on with, um, you know, Marvel and MCU and DC, we know that James Gunn will be, uh, leading the, <clears throat> the charge with the DCU, him and Peter Safter. And so this was his swan song. And I thought that he went out, um, in a really good manner, man. I'm, I'm really, really, um, uh, impressed by what James was able to do with that. And again, we'll expand on that on a further uh, discussion or a further review. I won't say which character stood out to me. I just, I'll just say collectively, all the Guardians have a moment to shine. Um, and if you know me, and I, I briefly mentioned it, there are some Guardians that I'm not the biggest fans of that actually like made me really enjoy them. <laughs> and again, I won't say who, what, where, if you were here earlier, you, and if you see, uh, you see, if you know my thoughts about certain guardians, you know how I feel about certain ones. And I, I was pretty impressed by what they were able to do in this film. You know, there are some, you know, based on the trailer, there are some new characters that I won't touch too much on uh, that I thought were pretty, pretty cool when they were involved in the narrative. Um, and again, no spoilers, no review, no plot details. The, the film has a, a, a certain 
element to it that I think will resonate with a lot of people out there um, from just a human perspective. But also, I will say, as my dog is kind of moving around and uh, not to get too off track, I've always one of my favorite guardians or my favorite guardian is Rocket. And Rocket is just such a cool character. And he reminds me so much. I'm, I'm going to have a story to this. <laughs> he reminds me so much of my dog, who's a little Pomeranian Pekingese. The way my dog, he's a, look, I'm a dog owner. You know, all, all owners think the dogs are cute. But I think my dog is pretty cute. And, and, and there's this innocence that he has in his eyes. But when I tell you my dog is a menace to society, man, he's a wild one. Uh, it reminds me so much of Rocket, because Rocket has that kind of adorable cuteness to him. But we know Rocket will, you know, conjure up a weapon and destroy anything in front of him, which just reminds me so much of Thor. So what I'm getting at, going back to what I'm trying to land on this uh, breakdown here, is uh, this one's for the animal lovers. I'll say that. This one's definitely for the animal lovers uh, for a lot of different reasons. Um, so I think I want to I want to end my expansion of my out-of-data reaction there because I don't want to get too much into actually reviewing the movie. We're going to leave that for a further discussion. But in the meantime, let me just check in with the chat and see what you guys are talking about before we uh, wrap this thing up. Just watched your short. Yeah, you got me hyped. Yeah, thank you for watching the short, man. And um, yeah, yeah, like I said in that and like I said here, it's a good send-off in my opinion. And um, I can't wait to talk about it in further details with you guys. Uh, hoping Adam Warlock nor high level evolutionary aren't one movie wonders. Uh, definitely. We'll talk about them more um, in, a, in a further discussion. They are in the movie. I can tell you that <laughs> based on the trailer. You guys know that as well. Um, is it true that the film has too much animal cruelty stuff that's hard to watch? I won't, I won't, I won't expand on that. I, as I mentioned, I, you know, as I said, I'm an animal lover. So definitely uh, there was some appreciation from that standpoint as someone that owns an, uh, an animal. So, but I won't get into that. I, I'll probably leave that for like a, a, a further video later on. Uh, what's up? My brother? Hey, what's going on media? How we doing tonight, man? Um, James did a masterful job of the series. Yeah, man, I'm really, really uh, proud of what James was able to bring, and I'm really excited for him in the DC universe, and particularly him writing and director Superman Legacy and all the things he has his hands involved with, as well as leading the charge. So, yeah, shout out to James James Gunn. Uh, NC, uh, NYC, what's up, man? Um, relieved to hear that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is worth uh, watching theaters. Yes. If I were to say something there, definitely, and you know, obviously this video isn't endorsed by Disney or Marvel, uh, but I will say, yeah, man, I'm not, I don't want to tell you guys how to spend your money, but if you're able to see this film in theaters, uh, definitely do so. And if you're able to see it in the biggest screen possible, definitely do so. I saw it in uh, ultra, I don't even know what the theater was. It was like an ultra HD Dolby craziness, which was just the best way to see it in. So by all means, definitely see it in the best, biggest screen possible. But thank you so much for the super chat. And, uh, and thank you guys again for everyone that's watching live. Again, I, I did, this is kind of a last minute thing that I want to come up with just to kind of get on here and uh, let you guys know my thoughts without giving too much away. And hopefully I did a good job in doing so. I'm not sure James is a good fit for DC. I think we talked about that in the past. Uh, I do. I personally do think he's a, a, a great guy to leave the charge. And, it, and it's not just him, right? It's him, Peter Safton, other creators uh, that's going to be involved in future projects. You know, James Mangle name has been brought up for Swamp Thing. Uh, of course, we're getting other directors going to be announced sooner rather than later for, you know, Batman, Brave and the Bold, uh, and all the other projects he announced. So I'm, I'm, I'm hyped. I'll be honest with you, man. I'm really excited to see what James Gunn has in store for us with the, uh, the new DC. Um, bro, uh, mini, I don't know, bro. I have a mini. Oh, you got a little, little doggy. <laughs> uh, hit the like. Yes. Thank you. Hit the like button, man. If you guys, uh, could, I would appreciate it. Uh, Kenny, my man, it's been a long time, my friend. How we doing, Kenny? Uh, super, yeah, man. Like I said, I want to hop on here for a little bit because I, um, where the screening was was pretty far from where I'm at. It's like a 45 minute drive for me. So I got home, took the dog out for a walk. About to cook some food now and and, and call it a night because I got an early morning. I'm going to be on on television uh, tomorrow morning, so got to get some rest for that. But yeah, I want to just hop on for a little bit, man. And I um, I don't know, man. Depending on how this does, we might do more of these in the future. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. But I do have a cool story to share with you. I was up, man. How we doing? Cool story uh, for any YouTubers out there or people that consume YouTube within the movie sphere. I ran into a, a pretty uh, well, in my opinion, a pretty well-known YouTuber at my screening, and that is uh, Dan Merle. I don't know if you guys know who Dan Merle is for from his days on 
Screen Junkies. <coughs> he used to do all those stuff on there, and he obviously has his own YouTube channel that's uh, pretty awesome. He's done, uh, what is it, the Collider, um, Schmoes No, and it just, uh, you know, Alex, I'm pretty sure if you guys know, if you're within the movie sphere, you've probably heard of Dan Merle, but I, I got an opportunity to meet him tonight, which I was not expecting to see, uh, to, to, to run into him and, and get a chance to talk to him and chop it up with him, so that was pretty cool, uh, just a little side note there, um, but uh, yeah. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Kenny was saying uh, one to ten. Where are you putting this film? Oh, like on a scale of one to ten. Um, again, I think that gets into review territory. So I'm gonna leave that score to the actual review, my friend. I, I hate to be that that guy, but um, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna keep that for my actual review, Kenny. But let's just let's just say that um. You know, if you saw what I just said now and saw my out of theater reaction, I was uh, I was pretty happy as a Guardians fan. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll get into that in the actual review again. I just want to jump on here and just expand on my uh, out of theater reaction. Dan's the last, yeah, like I said, it was cool, man. Dan was a really cool dude. Uh, quick story: when I got to the theater, you know, uh, again, it's about a forty-five minute drive from where I was at, but I was able to get there on time. I always like to try to get to screenings and any movie theater going experience on time. So I was able to kind of, you know, scout out your seats. You want to make sure because it was just us. It was just me and and other critics. It wasn't a, a public screening, so it was it was a lot of seats, seats available. I wanted to make sure I got a nice little seat where I can see the screen and hear everything good and all that. So as I'm surveying the theater, my eyes kind of go, wait, isn't that? Isn't that Dan Merle? Uh, but I didn't wait, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. And I didn't want to bother him. But I'm like, that guy, and it's dark too. I'm like, that guy looks like Dan Merle. But I just kind of left it at that. Um, but then once we kind of got out of the theater, and, and if you guys ever been to like early screeners or whatnot, there's uh people that kind of take your your opinions on the film or whatnot. So as we were kind of waiting to get in line, one of the one of the guys came up and was like, Dan Merle, I'm a big fan, blah blah blah. I'm like, I knew that was him, I knew that was Dan Merle. And then I, I chopped it up with him for a little bit, like, hey, man, this, I'm a big fan, blah, blah, blah. And we just talked about the film and talked about uh, being back in the theaters and whatnot. So, yeah, it was really cool, man. I mean, Dan Merle. Uh, and speaking of legends, what, Sharana, what you doing up? What's up, Sharana from Pay Your Way? Uh, you guys, I don't have to tell you guys who this wonderful individual is. Uh, what is up, Sharonda? Um, So glad to see you. Happy to see you in the chat. I know you saw the film tonight, and hopefully, I know we talked a couple days ago, we might have to link up and talk about this film in a further discussion. So shout out to Sharonda. If you guys aren't following her, do yourself a favor. Subscribe, follow her on, on YouTube and, 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 and Instagram and uh, Twitter, all this stuff, because she is fantastic. Uh, and, I, and hopefully, we can, uh, like I said, I talk, we, we spoke briefly the other day. We might, hopefully, because she's busy. She's interviewing all these celebrities, all these directors and actors. She's a busy, busy individual. So hopefully I can uh, get her on the books and we can talk about Guardians 3, uh, uh, hopefully in the coming days. But we, we'll see, we'll see. But what's up, Mr. Rodney? So glad to see you in the chat. Uh, Kenny's saying, I can't wait. For, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, Kenny. I'm gonna probably shoot it tomorrow. Uh, again, I'm a night owl, so I'm gonna probably just write down some brief notes, just my initial feeling, of how I came out of the theater about this film, and then uh, give you guys like an actual review um, maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday, probably Friday. We'll see. We'll see what the what the schedule allows us. But yeah, I will have a full review on Guardians 3 in the coming days. Kevin, my man, what's up, Kevin? How we doing tonight, man? Again, this this is a late, like I'm it's 11:38 where I'm at in, in Central Time. So East Coast time is 12 a.m., 12:30. West Coast time, what is it, eight o'clock? And then you know, I got some international subscribers, so it's uh, we're, we're all we're across different time zones. So if you guys are if it's a late one for you, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, would it would it pay or would it Sharana say we have this? Yes, we do, Sharana. I'm again, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hit you up and uh, see if we can get the schedules working and uh, line up a, a discussion with you because um. I I'm, I'm really want to pick your brain on this film and see how you felt about it. So uh, we got to get that going. Hey, dude, was the movie good? Um, yeah, man. So, like, if you, if you got a chance to see, you know, about 10 minutes ago, I kind of gave you a, my uh, non-spoiler, really no review, just my reaction to the film. And then if you watch my out-of-theater reaction, you can, you can kind of get an idea of which way I was leaning for the movie. But I'll just say... Yeah, I think it's a, it's a really it's, it's a good movie, uh, and more on that in the coming days. Uh, what were your thoughts about CinemaCon 2023, uh, Elliot? Um, it was from what I gathered, what I heard, what I saw. I, I, I kept pretty close to all the news and announcements. Um, 
you know, stuff that I was already excited for. I'm just as excited for it now. Of course, you know, the good word of mouth came out for the flash, <clears throat> which I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, you know, today I believe was Paramount and they talked about uh dead reckoning mission impossible uh seven which is one of my most anticipated movies this year i think we got photos for dune 2 it was either today or yesterday um and then yeah there's a lot of cool stuff so i think overall i'm excited for what i was already excited for the, i can't think of anything off top that i didn't know about that i'm excited for oh you know what they said that they're for 20th century fox to the disney panel there was a movie called creator or creators with uh garrett gareth edwards the director of rogue one or if you ask some people uh within the movie sphere he didn't direct that movie <laughs> if you ask some people but neither here nor there he's a, he's a great director he did uh godzilla and, and, a, and a monster film that's i think it was called monsters or whatever but i think he's a really good director and he's going to be making a film with david um John David Washington and someone else, and it, I'm a sci-fi head. That's like sci-fi and horror are my two favorite genres, and it sounds like it's a sci-fi dystopian world right up my alley. Great actor, great director. So that was one that kind of caught me off guard that I didn't know about So after hearing about it on CinemaCon. Um, and then was there anything else that stood out to me from what I heard? Because obviously I wasn't there one day, maybe. Um, the Craven the Hunter? Sounds pretty cool from that trailer description, and it's rated R. I'm here for that. So, yeah, man, I thought CinemaCon was, was pretty cool. And like I said, one day, <coughs> one day we might be able to attend one of those. Uh, Sharana, my girl, ATL, baby. Yeah, Sharana in the building, y'all. That's uh, that's the homie. I was literally about to call you. <laughs> I saw you were live. Uh, yeah, we, again, we got to we gotta, we gotta link up, Sharana, and, and figure out uh, when we can get, the, uh, get a discussion going um let's see here we got jake in the building Eleven thirty-eight. me too in chicago oh yeah jake uh shout out to shy city man that's my home hometown man so shout out to shy chicago shy city uh, but i appreciate you joining in jake appreciate it appreciate it man hope you're gonna do a good tonight checking in before i hit up to gym hitting up to gym late even a shout out to kevin man i need to hit up the gym kevin myself my brother uh i need to get back to working out in general so uh shout out to you putting in that work late night love it love it uh yutaka what's up man wait no spoil yeah no spoilers uh as you can see Utaka, shout out to Utaka. No spoilers. Actually, I already did my reaction, so now I'm just kind of I'm gonna wrap up this video here in a little bit because I gotta eat. Um, but yeah, no spoilers, Utaka. Just wanted to hop on here and just expand upon my initial reaction after walking out of the theater. Didn't do a full review. Didn't talk about the character of the story. Just talked about more or less uh, just the emotion that I had walking out, which just like I said, the emotional resonance of this film was definitely something that uh stood out to me uh especially being a fan of this uh these characters so shout out to Yutaka coming in from uh the horror hour great channel great person and in, in, individually speaking as well as just a great content creator so another person that I'm a big fan of and you guys should check out on the YouTubes <coughs> uh, excuse me uh what do we got here oh man thank you for the I don't know what that converts into but if it's a penny, uh, if it's a dollar, uh, uh, I don't care, man. I just appreciate the support. So thank you so much. Uh, question is, is there is um, is this better than recent MCU movies? Um, boo, boo, boo. So going back, I'm, again, I want to just keep it to what I said out of my out of theater social media reaction. I had said in that video that I personally haven't been so emotionally connected to a story, uh, like viscerally emotional. Like I, I got... I teared up at, a, at, a, at a certain points of the film because I do just love these characters so much and I just love the story that was being told. Um, so with that being said, emotionally speaking, if a movie can grab me in that manner, obviously, you know, great acting, directing, all that stuff, which, you know, we'll talk about at a later date. But just from an emotional standpoint, if I'm that invested, that bodes well in my personal book for film going experiences. So to answer your question, without getting too deep into the woods, uh, into the weeds, I would say, yeah, it's it's one of my uh, it's a film that I much more enjoyed than some of the more recent ones without naming ones in particular. But to just kind of answer your question, yeah, it's better than most recent ones. Uh, and I would say <laughs> even more recent <laughs> than movies that we got in phase one, the one film in phase five. I'll leave it at that. But thank you so much for the great question and for the super chat um like the new format oh well thank you i don't uh I, we've done lives before if you're referring to like the look i literally threw this together so but either way i need to learn how to take a compliment thank you appreciate you love that uh shout out to um 
your thumbnail there from uh you know spike lee classic there um the exorcist what about that oh the, yeah I th yeah i think i heard it about you talking about from cinema con yeah i heard it. i'm not too excited about that i'm not a big um halloween david gordon green's directing the exorcist i'm uh, yeah we'll talk about that another day but uh marvel spaceman with the with the guardians thumbnail there how was adam warlock i heard he's uh, he has about 10 minutes of screen time. Does it feel like he was sidelined in the plot? Ah, man, I wish I can answer that for you, Marvel. Uh, keep an eye out for a further review. So I don't want to, because again, I don't want to give anything away from any people that are obviously excited about it. I don't want to break embargo. So I won't get into the weeds of it. He's in the movie. I'll say that. Adam Warlock is in the movie. Uh, Will Pol Palmer, I believe is his name, from uh, We Are the Millers and... Uh, uh, Maze Runner and, and various a variety of different. I think he's a, a Midsummer. He's a really good actor, um, and he is in Guardians Three. I will let you in on that, but I won't get into the details on the screen time and if he was silent or not. He's in the movie. I'll say that he is in the movie. <laughs> Andrew, anyone, anybody looking forward to Black Mirror? New, uh, uh, man, I'm so I haven't seen I haven't sat down and watched a Black Mirror season in a minute, man. But that trailer looked pretty cool. Some really good actors. Uh, you know, Zazzy Beats was in that thing and a couple other great actors. So, and what is it? Did they give a release date later this summer, I believe? Uh, Jake saying, hell, uh, hell, hell yeah, I'm, oh, I'm doing good. Jealous as hell. You saw Guardian stuff. Oh, man, well, I'm glad you're doing good. No need to be jealous, man. It'll be out in no time, Jake. It'll be out literally next week. And the way time flies, at least in my opinion, Things go by quickly, so I'll be here in, 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 in a blink of an eye, man. Uh, Jake saying, "What kind of forever got me really emotional toward the end?" Um, yeah, I mean, for me, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, with the with the reveal towards the end, and at the beginning to just kind of reliving that moment with uh, acknowledging the passing of the great, late great Chadwick. So yeah, yeah, that was yeah that mo yeah. There's a couple times I got emotional with that one for sure um question here so overall you like the movie question mark i heard you say uh it had a few moments you didn't like but overall a great movie um i'll say yes to that whole comment um yes there were things that i really enjoyed there were things that didn't stick the landing for me um uh, as i mentioned in, in tonight's little brief live stream and in my out of theater reaction the opening uh, not the opening but like the just the 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 um the way the story kind of unfolded just i was just like ah not really sticking the landing for me, but like I briefly said uh, earlier, once things kind of come together, it it, it 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 hits home. But I again, I'll I'll expand on that on a, another um, on a, on a, a review. But yeah, and again, like I said, I don't want to. I'm sorry if I'm being vague. Um, Creed, I, like I said up top, this is a non-spoiler out of theater reaction. No plot, no character, no uh, you know spoilers, obviously. So I just wanted to kind of keep it vague and, and just hop on here. So I, again, I apologize for being vague, but full thoughts on the film will be coming soon, my friend. Uh, Andrew saying, I saw a clip of Rocket getting his name on Twitter and know this movie is going to be uh, tearing up. Yeah, man, Rocket, great character. Like I mentioned, he's my favorite guardian. And um, I don't know what clip you're referring to, but I'm sure... It was um, <clears throat> it was great because Rocket's in here, right? He's a great character. So yeah, man, I would definitely say um, bring your uh, your your excitement to the film when you go see it, and uh, probably bring some tissues, man. Uh, and not you know obviously referring to anything in particular, but it's just a, a really good emotional film that really sticks to landing, man. But shout out to Rocket, great great character, love him. My favorite guardian, man. Uh, Will Palmer. Yeah, 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 yeah. We talked about him. What up, B? What's up, man? Did you? Uh, I know Brandon saw it tonight too. I don't know if he dropped his out of the reaction. Very curious to know what he thought about the film, because uh, he's a big Marvel fan like myself. Definitely check out his amazing YouTube channel if you guys haven't already. Um, but yeah, B, what's going on, man? Good, good to see you always in the chat. And uh, oh, yep, there it is. I'm gonna have to watch it in a little bit. He got his theater. I'm gonna have to check that out, B. But yeah, man, what's up to you, Brandon? uh pete i'm hyped charming comedy action with heart um yeah man i agree a lot a lot on what you said there pete what's going on to you pete all right man we're gonna wrap things up because it is almost 12 and i need to eat and i need to do some other things before i call it a night but let me get to these last few questions and uh again i appreciate you guys joining me on this random out of theater reaction live stream uh and we might do more of these man in the future we'll see if time allows it but tony movie chappy what is up to you? After watching the movie, do you think uh, that James Gunn can pull off a Superman movie? 
It's a great question, Tony. I will say prior to seeing this film, I believe that he could pull off a Superman movie. And after now seeing this film, my uh, thoughts on that stays the same. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for James and see what he's going to do with uh, uh, Superman Legacy coming out, what, July 11th, 2025? So, yeah, man, shout out to Tony, man. Great question. Uh, Mark saying, hey, bro, how many times do you think you'll rewatch the movie? So, Mark, shout out to you. Uh, great question, Mark. I will hopefully be seeing it tomorrow. There's a, a fan event um, out here where I live that they're going to be throwing uh, that I'm hopefully going to be making it out to. So saw it tonight, and I'm going to be seeing it tomorrow, so that'll be twice. And then I would um, – I don't really get it, you know, Mark. I don't really get a chance to see movies multiple times as often as I was like uh, just due to schedule and, you know, catching up on other stuff in life. Um, but at least two times, you know, and we'll see if further uh, opportunities are present themselves. But yeah, uh, what's your rankings of the trilogy as of today? Um, or oh, this trilogy, ah, can you? I can't, I can't shout out to you. Hope you're doing good. Um, I'm gonna leave all that stuff for further videos, you know, review. I'm gonna probably do a spoiler discussion and I will definitely do a ranking video for sure, but not tonight because I think that'll give away. Uh, just, you know, some, some things I got lined up in the future, but shout out to the question. I'll say this. I'll give you a little insight on this. It's one of my favorite trilogies of the MCU. I won't say where it lands, but it's definitely in the top tier for me. Um, definitely, definitely top, top tier for sure. Top three, maybe top two. And again, further video for a kind of more discussions on where, you know, the guardians they behind me here, part one and two. Keep an eye out for those videos. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sir, where would you rank? Oh, okay. Yep. Same question. Same. Yeah. I'm going to leave that for the further video. Uh, but just know I'm a big fan of this franchise. I love these characters. Um, and it is after seeing the third one, it is a, like a phenomenal trilogy of films. Like I'm so excited to rewatch one and two. Hopefully, maybe before if I get a chance to see it tomorrow, because I didn't get a chance to watch one and two before I saw it tonight, because I really wanted to kind of, you know, do that just to get in that vibe and get in that that feel with the Guardians. So hopefully I can do that to, before tomorrow's screening with obviously the acknowledgement of seeing it tonight. So uh, but it is it's, it's a great trilogy uh, is where I'm getting at, to say to say the least. Uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> when all the critics name themselves. I love that clip. Uh, oh, yeah. When all the. Oh, critters! Oh, got you, got you. The critters' name of oh, you talk. Oh, is that the scene that they played or the clip that, that you're referring to, uh, man? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Uh, thank you. Don't tell you. I, I won't. I won't. I'm sorry if I'm being vague. But Tony Movie Chappy with the super chat. Thank you so much, Tony. Um, he's saying random question. Thoughts on the Hellboy re reboot, Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance, and Spawn? Very grindhouse movies going in the comic book mythology. Wait, is there is there multiple questions in that? Thoughts on the Hellboy re reboot, Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance? Is that the are we talking about two separate things there? Uh, and Spawn. So I didn't know there was a, a Ghost Rider reboot in the in the works correct me if i'm wrong tony if that's what you're referring to but i do know as far as the hellboy of it all we'll see i wasn't the biggest fan well not the fan of all of the, the most recent david harper hellboy but was a fan of the uh guillermo's uh hellboy and i and i really wish that he was able to finish out his trilogy so we'll see you know i hear from what i heard they're they're sticking to the lore we'll see with that one but as far as ghost rider uh like i, said, I didn't know i'm, I'm assuming ghost rider is going to be a part of you know marvel but I didn't know if there was like any announcements or anything in that matter. Um, and, and then, isn't that the, the second Nicolas Cage one, uh, which I didn't like if, uh, to answer that question. Spawn, I know that they've been working on that. I think Todd came out a couple months ago and said that, you know, he's still working. He's still working and trying to get that movie uh, done. I know he wanted to direct it, but he's, he hasn't directed anything. I know the studios are a little bit nervous from that. So we'll see, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really into supernatural. Like I say, horror and sci-fi are my two favorite genres. So I always just gra naturally gravitate towards those darker characters, uh, whether it is Marvel or DC or otherwise. Um, so I'm excited to get more of those to, to the last one of your question, that kind of grindhouse 
uh, mythos and kind of supernatural mythos. Uh, I'm really excited to see more of those characters on the big screen. Blade, you know, you mentioned Ghost Rider within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, we already got a Moon Knight. Uh, and there's so many other great characters to explore, and especially, you know, me being, a, me being a big DC fan, really excited to see more of that supernatural, darker side of, of these comic books. So great question, Tony, and thank you for the super chat, man. Um, all right, so wrapping things up here. Yeah, man. To be continued, to be continued. Uh, and yeah, that's what I figured you were talking about, Tony. Yeah, the second I wasn't a big fan. It was that that's the second one, right? If I'm not mistaken, Tony. Uh, didn't like one or two. It has its moments, right? For me, I mean, I know some people probably love those films, uh, especially with Nick Cage being involved, but uh, I believe that's the second one, which I didn't love. Didn't like either. <laughs> but shout out to you guys if you uh, for if you're uh Ghost Rider fans. Uh I actually liked the oh nice man. Again, it just wasn't my cup of tea. I just thought it was kind of convoluted um, and just didn't really stick the landing for me. It just didn't, uh, you know, hit those those notes like we did with Guillermo. But uh, I'm glad you liked it, Tony. And last comment. Thank you, Elliot. Well, thank you, Mayan. Thank you for everyone that tuned in tonight. We have some celebrities in here with Brandon, uh, Sharonda, and a lot of great other people that's been on the channel um, or uh, at least in the, in the comment section that support this channel. Which, speaking of support, man, I, last time I checked, I am um, – Less than 40 subscribers, I believe, last time I checked. Uh, away from 50,000, man, which is just a mind-boggling number just to, to put together. So I appreciate you guys for the continued support. If you know anyone that loves movies and shows and talking about movies and shows on a pretty frequent basis, definitely recommend them. Send them over here, man. Have them check out the content. And if they like the content, definitely, um, you know, let them know they can subscribe, man, if we can hit that milestone, which would be just crazy um and i'm really really excited to the for the future of this channel but neither here nor there man i'm gonna wrap this thing up get something to eat um write a quick little thoughts of this film have a review for you all i will be uh on the um the youtubes over the weekend with succession and barry and um you know and a lot of other things planned for you guys so with that being said, last question. Um, did you catch the new... I didn't. <sighs> Gotta be honest with you. I've never seen a... I've never seen... In, in, in its entirety, I've never seen a Hunger Games movie. Yep. Never, ever, ever. Haven't read the books. Just, I don't know. I never... And I like young adult uh, IPs, you know. Uh, you know, I mentioned... Uh, what did I say earlier? Um... The movie, the Maze Runner, you know, Maze Runner, stuff like that. I, I like those stuff. And I know Hunger Games obviously has a big fan base and, and really good, you know, I mentioned sci fi, dystopian world. So I don't know why I never watched it. So one of these days, I'll probably get into that lore, but I uh, I haven't seen the trailer. But the cast looks great from when I, when I remember what Viola Davis, um, Rachel Ziegler, who I'm a fan of, um, uh, Hunter Streifer, I believe her name is from Euphoria, is in it. And a couple other great, talented individuals. There's one more other big name actor that I'm not thinking of right now that I know is involved in it. So, and plus, it's probably a great entry point for me because I believe it's a prequel. So, for someone like myself that hasn't seen any of the films in this entirety, I would probably it'll probably be a great gateway for me to enter with it being again a, a prequel, if I'm not mistaken, of how the games started. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely gonna have to check that out. Cancel him immediately, J.K. I just watched the first one. I think. Cancel him immediately. Just kidding. I just watched the first one. I think I don't know what that's referring to. But on that note, I appreciate you guys tuning in for the Guardians of the Galaxy out of theater reaction that we didn't spoil anything. I'm going to pat myself on the back. I didn't give any way any plots, any characters. I didn't even really say if I liked it or loved it or hated it. I, I mean, I think you guys can get the sense if you watch that portion of the video that I did enjoy the film. Uh, but there are some things that we'll talk about that maybe didn't work for me in a actual further in-depth non-spoiler review. And keep an eye out for other reviews or other videos that I'll probably have planned for this movie. So, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are awesome. Be safe out there. Um... Thank you for joining. We'll see you soon on the next video. Peace out, everyone. Let me uh, get my video set up. All right, here we go. Deuces.